Up until now, we studied all the notes belonging to the first five frets. You know I counted them. There are 30 of them. A good, solid number. Like the days in the months of April, June, September and November. Yes, all the days of the month of February in the Swedish calendar of 1712. Oh yes, that was an interesting year. Well, since we're here, let's review all the notes on the five frets. Start from the sixth string. Okay. Sixth string. F. F sharp. G. G sharp. A. Fifth string A sharp B C C sharp D Fourth string D sharp E F F sharp G. Third string G sharp A A sharp B C Second string C C sharp D D sharp E First string F F sharp G G sharp A in this way, we also have learned a scale. A scale? What is that? A scale is a progression of notes in succession. Oh, like in A, B, C, D, E, F, G? Yes, think of it as a ladder if you want. Which means that I can go up or down, right? Indeed, there are many types of scales and we will study them as we continue. What type did we learn today? Its name is chromatic scale. Another name is also 12-tone scale because it includes the seven natural sounds and their five sharps or flats. I see. A uh, super scale, in other words. That is a great definition. Because the chromatic scale can be used for all chords. Hey, very handy. Can I try it? Yes, but we'll give it a structure easy to play. Alright with you? Oh yeah, very right! Then we'll start with the open string of E, the sixth string, and place one finger on each fret in succession. But instead of going to the fifth fret, We'll play the fifth open string, then repeat the process. A 
except for the third string, right? Good, you remember this particularity. On third string, you only need to go until third fret. Because the fourth fret is equal to the open second string. Right, so I move to second string then, and after the fourth fret, I play first string. That's it. Try it all together now. <laughs> 